Hello and welcome to the Zoll Zvent in-service demonstration. This multiple part series will provide detailed information about the Zvent portable critical care ventilator and its functionality. In this module, we will review how to connect the power and SPO2 cables. On the top of the device is the external power connector, located under the rubber cap notated by the solid and dashed line. To plug in the power cable, align the arrow on the power cord with the arrow on the device and push firmly. The safety latches will click into place to ensure the power cord stays connected. To remove the power cable, pinch the lower half of the connector towards the top half to release the safety latches. Then, pull the power cord to unplug the device. Note, do not attempt to twist the power cable while it is plugged in or pull the cable without first releasing the safety latches. Doing so could result in damage to the safety latches and internal connection pins. At the bottom right corner is the pulse oximetry connector under the square rubber cap labeled SPO2. The Massimo LNCS series of probes are approved for use with the Z-Vent. When the appropriate sensor is connected, the pulse oximeter provides continuous, non-invasive monitoring of SPO2 and heart rate for adult, pediatric, and infant patients. To plug in the pulse oximeter, align the connector in the correct orientation to the port and push firmly. The safety latches will click into place to ensure the pulse oximeter stays connected. To remove the pulse oximeter, pinch the sides to release the safety latches, then pull the cable to unplug it from the device. SPO2 pulse oximetry monitoring is on standby by default. Press the Accept button to select Pulse Oximeter. Use the dial to change the setting from Standby to On and press the Accept button again to confirm the change. In the Heart Rate and SpO2 parameter windows, there are now outlined values as the device searches for and begins monitoring the patient's heart rate and SpO2 levels. Before use, carefully read the Massimo LNCS sensor directions. Use only Massimo oximetry sensors for SpO2 measurements with the Z-Vent. Other oxygen sensors may cause improper performance. We have now completely reviewed connecting the power and pulse oximetry cables. Throughout the other modules, we will continue to explore the device's functionality and how to prepare the ventilator for use.